Welcome to part two of us dissecting this list that these podcast bros put together of the type of women that they should never date. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not me begging and pleading for them to take women like us. I'm totally fine with that. But this is just me having a talk with my gals about why they put those specific things on the list and showing just what makes these types of men toxic. Okay, let's start part two. Okay, picking up where we left off. Number 11, they say stay away from women who drink regularly. Now, they only want you to drink with them when they can control it. And I have been assaulted by a guy um, that happened to me in 2012. And I believe he drugged me um, via what I was drinking at the time. So they have no problem with you um, getting drunk so they can take advantage of you with them drugging you so they can take advantage of you They have no problem with that, but they just don't want you to be out in public and having fun um, And they also don't want another man to take advantage of you. It could only be them It's not because they care about you and they want to protect you It's kind of like how an animal marks their territory they don't want anybody marking on their territory. That's all that is. They could give a shit about protecting you. It's about protecting their property. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? So they don't want you going out and have fun because God forbid another man do to you what they want to do to you. Number 12, they put women who have absentee fathers. Wow. Um, very interesting. The cool thing about most women is that we can go through a lot of shit in our childhood and somehow in our lives we reach a point where we make a decision to make better decisions and to be better people and to better ourselves and to do better and to work with what we have to improve our lives and we can turn shit into a diamond literally but they don't want to date women <laughs> with an absentee father because it will remind them of the type of people that they are with their kids. <laughs> people who evade their responsibilities and don't take care of their business and aren't shit to the people in their lives closest to them. It's just, again, projection. And they know that if you have that kind of wound to where you are, you don't have your dad in your life, you're going to depend on them and they don't want the responsibility of being anybody's emotional support. They don't want you to depend on them because they know that they are unreliable dicks. They know that they're going to desert you the same way your father may have if this is the type of situation that you were in. The next thing they put on the list is women who live on their own, which is weird because they normally seek out women who live on their own so they can have a place to stay. So make that make sense. Another reason these men don't want to date or say they don't want to date women who live on their own is because it reminds them of their failure and the fact that you got your own place, but I'm still sleeping on a busted air mattress at my cousin's house. Your success as a woman reminds them of their failure. And that's why you get these men telling women that their job titles ain't shit and their degrees ain't shit and if they make a lot of money, it ain't shit. The next thing they put on the list of women not to date is women who are on dating apps. Again, this is another projection because they'll be in a relationship with you and then be on dating apps looking for women. So they don't want you to do to them what they will do to you. Does that make sense? Um, because these guys meet women on dating apps all the time but they know how they use them they just don't want you to use them the same way and they think that also us being on dating apps makes us look desperate because they feel desperate when they're on those dating apps because they know that they are the bottom of the barrel now there's there's some amazing men on dating apps i know people who met someone amazing on a dating app app but for the most part these types of guys know that they're bottom of the barrel. They can't get a woman out in real life. So they have to go skimming and looking around for somebody who's desperate enough and willing to take their sorry asses so they can get with them, use them of their time and resources, and then go on dating apps and cheat on them with women on dating apps and then make lists saying that they don't want to date women on dating apps. 
The next thing they put on the list are women who have been on the Fresh and Fit podcast. If you don't know what it is, search it, Google it. I'm, I don't feel like explaining it. But they don't want any woman with a brain. They don't want a woman who can combat their um, ridiculousness with actual facts and truth. They don't want to be challenged. They just want to be able to say, huh, trust me, bro, and have us be like, okay, please impart more wisdom on us. And the moment we're like, no, what you're saying is bullshit and what you're saying is not true. All of a sudden, we become the enemy. We speak in facts. They speak in baloney. The next thing that they put on the list is women who make lists. You guys know my content. You know I make lists from time to time. And this makes me laugh because it's just projection again. They literally are making a, a, a list. Makes no sense. I know. They don't want us to be specific. They don't want us to list their red flags and their bullshit. They want us to, to just be blind and not talk about this stuff and not share it with other people. But it's okay for them to make lists tearing us down with stuff that's ridiculous, stuff that's not based in fact, stuff that makes absolutely zero sense. They can make a list about that boot brouhaha bullshit, but we can't make lists that are based in fact, that are based in statistics, that are based in us wanting to be loved and respected and for us to want to be happy with someone number 18 they put women who have been engaged before because they want to be the first one to roll over in bed and say here i got you a ring they want to be the one to have you beg for them to propose to you after having been with them for 10 years with two kids they want to be the lame person that gets some woman who's not hip to the things that you and I know that will buy her own engagement ring. They don't want you to have ever had someone put love and care into a proposal so that you will be more willing to settle for their half-assness. Number 19 on the list, <laughs> they put divorcees. But again, for every divorced woman, there is a divorced man. So are we not supposed to date men? Are divorced also because of the fact that statistically women file for divorces the most and we come out of those divorces much wiser and smarter than we were once we before when we got in the marriage to begin with they don't want that wisdom they don't want us smart they want us dumb they want us naive they want us gullible number 20 <laughs> they said don't date any black women now I don't want any man who believes that in the first place now for the preferences for the women who are bragging about the fact that their boyfriends and their husbands are with them because they don't like black women how does it feel to know that your partner is only with you because of your skin color not your mind not your heart not your sense of humor nothing just your skin color also these types of men who are shitty to black women are just shitty men even if they get with a woman of a different race they are still the same shitty man and and interracial relationships with black men and other races actually have the highest divorce rate but races who get with us the lowest divorce rate number 21 i had to think on that for a second they put don't date women who are from the west and the only thing that i can come up with is a lot of people move to the west coast to california to start a new life uh, to pursue their dreams uh, a lot of people who live over there are highly ambitious. They're always hitting the pavement, hustling and trying to make a name for themselves. So maybe they don't want women who have hopes. They don't want women who have dreams and who are ambitious and who are trying to aspire to be better and to do better in their lives. They want women who will give up all that and sacrifice their whole identity just to focus on them and making their dreams come true and some of these men don't even have dreams that they're working towards so they just want you to sit up in a hot house and stare and worship them all day anyway i hope you enjoyed the breakdown of the things that these idiots put on these lists about us and let's carry on with our marvelous lives as usual because i am feeling luxurious and i hope you do too bye